Hi, it's Jill with Crickflix, and been kind of missing in action for the last few days here again. Um, what I'm gonna oh, I need to pay attention here. They're here working on my yard, and they were out there with the machine digging up my sod. That's why they're loud. Anyway, what I'm working on here is this is a Mickey Mouse project. Let me get my pieces and my next video after this is going to be Zootopia. I'm doing for my grandson's birthday party which is on, <clears throat> on Sunday here to my place. So I'm hoping that they get all the work that they're doing out in the backyard done by then because it's going to be a mess if they don't. But, oops, I need a doll rod. I thought I had a bunch of pegs there. Anyway, I've got my... I had to take my husband to, to, to have a colonoscopy this morning at 7 o'clock in the morning. And it is now 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And he's still sleepy. But everything went perfect. And he's good for another five years. Um, so he has to, I only have to have mine every ten. Isn't this something that you just love hearing about? It's such a nice topic. But And when you get over 50, there's certain things that you just have to do. But my husband has had cancer, so he has to go more often than I. But everything was perfect. So thankful for that, but he's still sleeping. I went in there to see how long he wanted to sleep for, and he's, I woke him up, and he said, what difference does it make? And I said, well, because you won't sleep tonight. And he said, no, I'll take a sleeping pill. So I let him go back to sleep. The first image, um, okay, this was, it's, it's a uh, Navy Mickey theme, and this image, was okay as far as it wasn't the best for uh, Christmas. It wasn't as, as colorful and crisp as I would have liked it to have been, particularly in the face. So what I did is I took another Mickey head from another image that was a higher resolution and took the face off and put, or yeah, I took, took the face and I cut the head out off of the Mickey that I was working with of the high resolution and then I cut out here for the hat and then with the silhouette software I put it on top of the one that was clear or was all blurry and it came out perfect. This guy has the the um, glossy accents on the eyes and the mouth and then it's glittered around on his hat all the glitters up here around his jacket uh, his buttons down his pants and he's all glittered up I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it this is a I think it was a one foot piece now I want to say it's 12 and 15 inches nope it's a foot it's a one foot piece Normally I can tell by looking here. I think I'm the one that's kind of out of sorts here. But they got my patio brick all redone. We had done patio uh, probably 10, 15 years ago, but my husband did it himself. It was back in the day when he would never hire anybody to do anything. Well, he since has gotten over that, but we used the wrong sand when he did it and it sunk and washed away and was a mess. Not only was it washing away, it was <clears throat> growing weeds so bad I always made fun of them and told them we were the only one in town that had a brick patio that needed to be mowed. So many weeds. And it just got to the point where um, my son-in-law kept saying, ah, oh, we can tear it up and redo it ourselves. And finally, I said, the beginning of this season, get some estimates, we're gonna have it done. And we are so thankful that we did. So they've been here for the last week or so, 
working on it. They, they've got the patio all reset. They've got to put the sand that holds everything together. It's kind of a concrete. And they're doing some landscaping that they got to remove the sod. So the guy is out in the backyard right now with the sod remover. So I can hear, oops, he's coming closer because I can hear it. It's on the other side of the house, so I thought it was going to be quiet. It's pretty noisy. It's my grandson Wyatt's third birthday party is on Sunday. His birthday was actually May 27th, but that weekend he was with his dad. And so we didn't have the party, and at the age of three, he doesn't know one day from the next. So we're having the party this Sunday. And um, my daughter, of course, both my daughters are famous for this. They like to ask me days before the party, and I'm talking literally days because she asked me on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. The party's not Sunday, so she gave me five days notice, like some of my customers. She gave me five days notice and said, can you do some decorations? But my younger daughter... The one whose party, it, it, it's for her son. She asked me in a different fashion. She said, do you have anything in your stash that would work for the party? And everything I had was for girls. But anyway, um, the kids, their brood of five, the, the older kids, the two older, I'm trying to think, oh, the girl she nannies for plus um, her stepdaughter said, oh, Zootopia, because they were all watching the movie, and they said, can you do anything Zootopia? I said, I've never even heard of Zootopia. There's the first centerpiece. And so anyway, I ended up going on Etsy and finding a set of clip art for Zootopia, bought it, and sat over at my daughter's with my granddaughter and the other little girl. Um, and picked out the images. So that's the next film I'm going to do. What a cute, cute, cute movie. And the party favors are going to be adorable. And they're going to have my patio. I just talked to the contractor to ask him if he was going to have everything done um, this weekend so that I could move everything back and decorate out there. And he said yes. He was hoping to have that part done today. So I am going to go all out on the decorations. So you will be seeing pictures of those. Um, it is going to be outdoors, and since we just had everything redone and put in our new gazebo um, for our pool and all that, oh, got it. So trying to get it. Oh, fingertip trying to get it to the point of zero maintenance. Now the maintenance is going to be putting everything away come the end of the season, which isn't a fun thing to do because I don't like the end of the season. That means the summer's over. And winter's here. Our summers here are very brutal and very long. So I get about 12 weeks out of the year that we get to use our pool and our patio. That's about it. And it takes about six weeks to get everything ready. So I spend a lot of time. That's why I haven't, in the summer, don't count on me for a whole lot of, if it's not raining, I'm not in working. I'm out swimming. I've only been out swimming though three times so far this year. You can probably hear the machine. He's already done cutting up the side. I hear the machine is getting back on the truck. And somebody else is messaging me. Okay. And let me see here. Um, what else is going on? What else would be going on? Oh, my daughter. And the three kids that I normally take care of on vacation. That's why I said I was going to get all this work done, do all these videos. And I have been um, 
the week's almost gone, and I've, I've been so incredibly busy, I've gotten anything done. Okay, here is the second image that I used, and again, accent everything with the glitter. Um, he was a higher pixelation. Um, the resolution was really good, so I didn't have to uh, change the face out or anything. He was really good. So I've got these little two one-footers. Love them. Now, the one that I am going to be doing on one of my flash drives is showing, showing you how to do a color book image and make it into... Uh, when, there, when I don't have high resolution and I can't find a photo, I do a Google search for a color book image. And this particular image that she wanted in a two foot piece of Mickey and Minnie together, there was nothing. They were all blurry when it came to two feet. And here's one of the things that I have that upsets me so much when this prints out on the silhouette of the image. This is an actual picture of, a, of this piece, but in a half inch size, and I don't know why it does that. Um, this is the two foot, which came out to be two feet wide, so it's not two feet tall, but it is two feet wide, and it's all pieced together, the, the, the black background. Somebody asked, do I use an offset on everything? It all depends on what... I've lost my scissors, too. I cannot believe I lost a pair of my scissors. Um, somebody had asked me, do I use an offset on everything? And I said, no. Um, when I use my heavy paper, I do not do an offset. But this was all color book. This was a uh, color book image that I took, the regular image that she wanted, and I did my own coloring using my eyedropper so I could get the colors exactly how they were on the image. And this had to be cut up in numerous sections because of the shape, as you can see. I'm going to start by putting this part together. And I think what I'm going to do is pause this because I have a feeling I'm going to run out of time. And let me just put this piece down and then I'll just restart my camera. Keep forgetting to see how long that lasts filming. But this is one again I'm going to be showing from scratch how to break apart the color book. Because when you go in there and you do a trace, you're not going to do a trace and detach, you're going to do a trace. But when you do it and you break it down, it comes out with way too many pieces that you do not need. So I'm going to show you how. This is going to be on a very advanced level. Um, the flash that I'm going to be working on, I'm going to try and do work that we started to, tonight, is going to be going over all the features of the machine that I use. It's not going to include anything that has to do with, with um, jewelry or uh, uh, what is it called, the, the stones. I, I don't do any of that, so I'm not going to get into it. Not going to cover anything on that. Okay, I'm going to pause the machine because I'm going to run out of time, and I'll turn it right back on. So I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back again. Good thing that uh, there's a timer running on this where you can see how long it actually took me. Um, there, I told you that the... People are back here working in my yard, and uh, yeah. Anyway, I got sidetracked here, so I ended up putting the whole thing together, the front and the back. And now I am going to connect the front and back together, or try anyway. And again, this was a color book image that I probably. We'll redo this same piece to show how I did it. Because <clears throat> these, the one thing that's really nice about using color book images is um, that you can do whatever colors you want. And the colors are very, very, very vivid. You don't have to worry about any of the resolution when you're co coloring it yourself. <clears throat> oh boy. Got a frog in my throat. Um, 
can't remember what I was saying when I stopped this film because that was like two hours ago. I said, I gotta finish that. But, um, I know one thing I was talking about is that my daughter and son-in-law and their three kids, the ones that I take care of, are in um, Alabama on vacation. And they left last Friday. And on Saturday, they went to the ocean. And my daughter said, oh, it's beautiful here. And, and you know, the kids were loving the ocean. It was the first time I think they've been there, because they're pretty little. And then the next day, on Sunday, Will got sick. He's five. So he was sick from th that day <clears throat> until Wednesday or Thursday. They ended up in the emergency room with him because he had such a high fever and just was not shaking the whatever it was off. So they ended up taking him to the emergency room. Now mind you, they're in a different state and their doctors aren't there and this is what's going on. So then they got his fever under control and sent him back or sent him home or back to where they were staying. And then the next day, Kendall got sick. She got a fever. So they had to get a hold of her doctor here at the UW Children's Hospital. And he had to track down a facility to take her where they could take her because what I'm coloring here is a little bit of white from the back side of this was showing. And so what I do is I just take a Sharpie and color because they didn't want it to show. Anyway, um, they had to wait while they tracked down a doctor, which they finally did in another town that they had to drive through and take her. And of course, they were, wherever it was that they were was really remote and didn't have uh, the special, the, uh, the, the, they don't have a real big crew there of uh, doctors with the expertise on treating children with leukemia. So my daughter was just a wreck. She just absolutely was a wreck. When we went to Disney World last year and she had talked to the doctors about traveling um, given the situation, I don't, I, I don't think they ever wanted to be too far away from her doctor because they are so confident with him and, and you know, their, their care from the UW hospital and everything that, and the doctor said, listen, if we're going to go on vacation anywhere, the place to go with, with children with leukemia is Disney World because that is where they have a staff all the time available because all the kids, not all the kids, but a ton of kids when they do the Make the Wish, they want to go to Disney World. And so they have it fully staffed with a crew of specialists treating children um, with leukemia. And so my daughter, when I called her t uh, yesterday, today's her birthday, I called her yesterday and asked her how she was doing and um, she had told us that they had taken Kendall in and she just starts bawling, and, and you could tell she just wanted to come home so bad. Well, there was, it was her husband's father and his wife, and then her husband's brother and his wife and his three children, and then then um, the step, the step, um, whoops, that was still wet. Way to go, Jill. Um, were all there and wanting to go to the beach yesterday, but, Amber, they didn't have enough room in the car for her and the kids to go. And so they all left and she stayed there by herself. Bad call. Uh, had it been us, I would not have left her in a million years. I would not have left her by herself there with the other two kids, with the one up in the hospital. I would not have left her because I know how worried she gets and but anyway, uh, 
kind of a, you know, sad things aren't, uh, or hadn't been going how she wished it would have. And um, I don't know if she'll ever go on a vacation like that again. Uh, but Isabel, that's right, will be three at the end of August, is spending the whole entire vacation telling Mommy and Daddy she wants to go to Disney World. Uh, a few days, a weekend, and, or, you know, four or five days for those guys is good at the beach. But, um, oops, now somebody's at the doorbell, so I'm going to pause it again, and I'll be right back. Okay, back again. Contractors were getting ready to leave and letting me know what they got done. I am so excited about the work that they're doing in the back. It is looking awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it. Okay. Um, got that all put together. Now, I'm going to show you something here. How I decided where my peg to go, where my peg was going to go. And why. And why does this not, it's not down all the way. I made my husband, my husband's been begging. And I shouldn't say begging. Will not let it go that he wants a Corvette. So I made him a list of things to do around here. And I said, then when he was all done, he could get his Corvette. <laughs> the list will take him two years. Don't want him to hear me. There's a trick there. Okay, let me see if I can get this base on here. This one's drilled just a little bit tight. There we go. Now, I haven't tried this yet, so I want to make sure it worked. And I didn't. I need to go back and put my peg crooked. You can see why. Because this thing is so heavy, I do not want a peg coming out here. I want the peg to come out and use this foot. But what I'm going to have to do, watch how I'm going to fix this. I'm going to take this peg and I'm going to flip it off. Then I am going to take and line this up like this and put my new peg in crooked. Maybe crooked. Because I want this toe to, okay, that's not going to work like that either. What I'm going to have to do is put it on here and decide how crooked I need it to go. Stick my peg in here first. Then I'm going to set this guy up on it. And there we go. No, I'm going to have to trim it off. take off about half an inch. We're going to do this again. And you will see when I'm done why I did this. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Now, her toe is hitting the table here so that when I put this peg in, it doesn't tip over. Um, because again, the other way would be to put a peg right in the middle so it was equally weighted. But I don't want to do that. And there we go. And her toe are up. So now what I'm going to do is I don't want to take that off. I'm going to lay it down. And ever so carefully, I am going to remove the base. There we go. Then I'm going to go in here and put my glue in to hold that in. This is how I fix them too when I, sometimes I put a peg in and, and not realizing that it's not straight the way it should be. 
can't believe I just said that out loud, guys. Sometimes I make a mistake a lot. And I forgot I went and put that new brown glitter on there. So, I probably just messed that up. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Now, that's still hot. So, I'm going to put this back in ever so gently. Because I want to put this on before it's completely dry, in case I have to move it at all. And then bang it on the table, like I just did. That way, there we go. And... Got it. Now, I will let that hot glue dry before I remove it again. It's where I want it. Okay, so that's it on this big guy that I went and hit, I don't know how many times, my glitter up here. Three strikes, I'm out. So we're going to call that the third strike. And actually, I'm going to put a little bit more glitter on there. And some glitter on here, kind of shadowing for his hand, just because I like the effect of glitter. Got to do the other side yet. Haven't done any glitter on that one. Um, and I'm not going to add any of the glossy on the eyes of this one because this one I put with ink. I ink the glossy and if I put, I, I ink the little white, the glimmer and I, if I put glossy on it will run, that ink will run. But I do see, I'm going to anchor in the hat, you see I covered up a little bit of the anchor, a little bit of the gold. So I'm going to fix that. There we go. And that is it on this. I will take some pictures. I'm not going to look this up until I know it's good and dry. I'll get some pictures for you. And then the next one I'm going to do is going to be for my grandson's birthday, the theme of Zootopia. So until next one, bye-bye.